Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to talk about the, the most recent earthquake activity. Man, there have been some earthquakes in some really bizarre places here in the last 24 hours. We're also going to take a look. I've got some photos of auroras from last night's geomagnetic storm. We've had some new solar flares, earth-directed solar flares, wildfires. I know there's flooding going on in different parts of the world. We're going to talk about that here in, a, in another video, but I do have some new photos and videos of the wildfire smoke all the way down here in the United States and from Edmonton where the, the wildfire smoke seems to be the thickest right in here and I received video footage from Edmonton this morning and you can't even hardly see the the buildings in downtown Edmonton the the wildfire smoke is so thick also in this video we're going to East Texas you're going to see what looks like a serpent moving through the daytime sky tucked in behind these clouds here really cool video footage you'll definitely want to stick around for but first over here at the homepage of the website today's feature photo was sent in by Ryan Metal out of Manitoba Canada Canada. During last night's geomagnetic storm, he saw some spectacular auroras above his location. And if you look down low here on the horizon, you can see wildfire smoke off in the distance. I have some more really cool photos to share with you guys that were, were sent in by Ryan. Coming over here to the Space Weather Prediction Center, looking at the most recent solar flares, you can see in the last 24 hours, there have been three more large M-class solar flares. And the ionosphere is reacting to these solar flares almost instantly. This is the daylight side of planet earth and you can see the energy interacting with the earth almost instantly here's the the solar flare that occurred this is the m6 solar flare that occurred just a few hours ago at 1235 universal time and you can see the ionosphere reacting at 1236 universal time and the reason for this persistent solar activity is the earth facing side of the sun is just loaded with sunspots up here in the the northeastern quadrant the southeastern quadrant and all of this energy is turning towards the earth right now as i do this video in fact here's a a video loop of the last 24 hours of the earth facing side of the sun and that northeastern quadrant seems to be the the ongoing hot spot even right now as i do this video quick look at the earthquake situation over here at the usgs the ongoing earthquake swarm continues down here in the south pacific yesterday evening there was another very large 7.1 magnitude earthquake followed by a, a 6.5 and then multiple fives following the the two large earthquakes and the swarm down there in the south pacific continues continues and then we've got some earthquakes up here in the United States that just seem to be way out of bounds not far from the Toledo Executive Airport right there at 2.6 just across the street from the airport coming in at four miles deep once again that was a 2.6 in Ohio there was a 2.1 in southern Ottawa another 2.1 in northern New York and then a 2.2 near Long Island New York so two earthquakes this week in New York the last 24 hours have seen one near Ottawa and one in northern Ohio. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Not too much going on at the supervolcano. A little bit of earthquake activity over here at Hebgen Lake, but all in all, pretty quiet. Coming over here to spaceweather.com, the auroras last night during the geomagnetic storm extended all the way down to Missouri at the 40.2 north degree latitude. This photo you see here of red auroras was taken last night during the geomagnetic storm. I also received more photos from Ryan out of Manitoba around 11 p.m. during the, the geomagnetic storm. And it wasn't the strongest we've ever seen, but it was strong enough to create auroras all the way down to the 40 degree north latitude. This is up in Manitoba, and this was from last night around 11 p.m. Once again, photos taken by Ryan Metal. And these are some really cool photos. In between the wildfire smoke, he was able to, to capture these photos of bright green. You'll see some red and, and purple, right? There's the reddish purple that he was able to get these photos of last night from Manitoba. Once again, the majority of these photos were taken around 11 p.m. last night during the geomagnetic storm. And checking in on the wildfire smoke from zoom.earth, you can see the, the large canopy of thick wildfire smoke that's been traveling for thousands of miles, easily making its way down here into the United States. I received video footage from Edmonton from earlier this morning, and the viewers could hardly see the city from about a half a mile away. Check out this video footage that was taken less than 12 hours ago. There's nothing to do. It's downtown Edmonton right there. Can't even see it. That's crazy. 
That is some thick wildfire smoke. And you could see how close they were to the city. They weren't that far away, probably a half a mile away. And you could barely see those tall structures over there in Edmonton. And the carbon monoxide levels in this area are the highest concentrations anywhere on planet Earth. Over here is the, the map of the carbon monoxide in this region. And right now, the air quality in these areas where the wildfire smoke is the thickest is absolutely terrible. They're saying that the carbon monoxide levels right here near Edmonton are just just over 13,000 parts per billion. That's a lot of carbon monoxide in the in the atmosphere. So that's by far the thickest concentrations of carbon monoxide anywhere on planet Earth. I also have new video footage of wildfire smoke, some from down here in the United States. This photo here was taken by Blake from May 17th out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. You can see the sun setting behind some wildfire smoke. James out of Ohio. This is a sunrise of the, the sun coming up behind wildfire smoke from Ohio. We've seen multiple multiple photos of, of wildfire smoke from Ohio and some good video footage from Ohio as well. This photo here is a, a little bit mysterious. You don't see a whole lot of wildfire smoke, but it looks like the, the sun is split in half. Cindy out of Mays Landing, New Jersey. Notice the wildfire smoke and the pink sun tucked in behind the, the smoke at sunset. Carlos Skywatcher, my friend out of Portugal, also noticed the wildfire smoke from Portugal in his photos of a recent sunset that he took. And he also managed to capture that large sunspot that's facing the earth right now as I do this video. Photos here by Melissa C. taken yesterday, May 19th. Look at how small the, the sun looks in this photo. Look at that. That's unedited. Looks smaller than the moon. Over here on the right, I zoomed in. And in this photo here, which is unedited, the, the sun looks pink like it does in a lot of photos when the sun's behind wildfire smoke. This next segment's a video that was sent in by John from somewhere here in the United States. I think this is out of either North Dakota, South Dakota, quite possibly Minnesota. And you can see the, the sun tucked in behind some very thick wildfire smoke. But that's definitely somewhere in the United States. I want to take you guys now down to East Texas. This video footage was sent in by, by Kelly C., taken by, by Cosa. And you're going to see what looks like a very colorful, looks like a giant serpent. And you're going to see these rainbow colored clouds that don't fit in with any of the other clouds in the sky the rest of the clouds look white and gray and then you've got this colorful configuration right here that stretches out horizontally across the sky looks like a giant serpent slithering through the the clouds up there get a load of that you don't see things like that every day colorful clouds tucked in behind the the white gray clouds and then you've got the blue background and then you've got this red orange teal green configuration looks like it's moving through the sky it could be the the white and gray clouds moving left to right giving this the the illusion that it's moving from right to left and then again it could be moving right to left not sure but it's horizontal and the rest of the clouds kind of look you know just like random daytime clouds and that looks like some sort of a large stretch moving through the, the daytime sky out of East Texas. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, Have a Large Video. Simply click on the red tab, drag and drop your video into the red banner. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.